G'day everyone. Yes, I am still alive here in America, in the US, in Florida. Anyway, I just wanted to address some of the latest news, which is in the spirit of trying to relieve fears, because, I mean, that's why I think I'm here, partly, and, uh, I mean, there's a lot of news going on about, uh, you know, China's at war with the US. Um, yes, they are at war with the US. The US corporation, that is. Not the peop not the people within the US. Like the American people, they're not at war with you. So don't I am not worried and this is my opinion, I'm not worried that they're gonna come and try and, you know, put us all in camps, in FEMA camps and all the rest of it. I just everything I have been blogging and by the way my blog is now public again my YouTube two YouTube channels are now public again and I will not I cannot charge I mean people were commenting on my last YouTube second last YouTube uh, saying you know because I was talking about uh, charging for uh, videos that I was going to put up in thankyouwhitenights.com not I cannot charge people for watching YouTubes. I mean, I was only going to charge about a dollar. But anyway, beside the point, going back to this uh, news, you know, about the F-22 Raptor being shot down by a Chinese sub with a laser in Alaska, and then just recently I've heard a uh, CF-18, which is a Canadian F-18 Hornet, got shot down. Um, just before coming in to land uh, in Canada. Um, yeah, my... Uh, not that I have any proof that that has happened, as I have blogged, you know, <laughs> there's been rumours, but I have not been able to find any sources on that information. I haven't done much digging, but I did put my opinions up there about the F-22 Raptor event, and I think Anyway, I thought it could have been a false flag, you know, by the US corporation in order to try and start a war with China. Uh, I mean, they've been trying to start a war with China, just like Iran, I think, for a long time. And I put information about that, like Chris Story was actually saying reports, uh, that is from worldreports.org, that uh, the US were trying to stir up a war with China by taunting them by hanging, uh, putting their battleships and uh, aircraft carriers just off the coast during a critical time they were trying to, you know, bully them or taunt them into a certain decision into lending them more money possibly, I'm not sure exactly what it was, I think it was around 2008 around that time, but I'm not I did report on it previously, but anyway uh, now you want to check out this blog that I just put up on this where you actually hear that Tim Turner actually addresses this and I mean he confirms everything, my suspicions and and a lot of the news that I've actually, I've got a lot of links to this that I've put up in this blog that I'll put at the bottom and the name of the blog is China is at war with the US corporation well, the title of the blog is China is at war with the US corporation but not the American people says Tim Turner interim president of the Republic for the United States now I've got I've assimilated a lot of put together a lot of information in here and you can actually see that China has stopped my evidence to support my theory that that um, that Ben Fulford help, helped come out with, and that is a report back in uh, a Routers article. You'll see a hyperlink there, Routers here. That is where uh, China said to its people that they do not have to honour the uh, US money that was created, you know, the bailout money, the $700 billion. Uh, the title of the article is Beijing's Derivative Default Stance Rattles Market come out 
on routers.com August 31, 2009 and the first paragraph says a weekend report that Chinese state-owned companies will be allowed to default on commodity derivative contracts provoked anger and dismay among investment banks on Monday as they feared a damaging precedent. Now, what else did I put in this blog? A, a link to um, my labeled blogs Brick Against New World Order which also has playlists, YouTube playlists um, that are all related to this. Now if you click on that what is Brick? Brick is uh, Brazil, Russia, India and China. Okay. Uh, they are, and there's a lot more Asian countries that went and jumped on board about a year ago. I mean, during the G20 meetings that they had. And don't forget, I mean, there's. If you go and have a look in there, you'll find out there's 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 so much evidence that about what I'm saying. It's. I mean, please try and prove me wrong. <laughs> I'm almost willing to bet a million dollars. You know, if I had a million dollars. Um, on this, I mean, please try and find the holes in my information and then email me. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that out of arrogance. I'm just I'm trying to make sure I'm I'm right, uh, so I can report the correct information. But what I'm tr trying to do is help people alleviate their fears that you know they're gonna they're gonna be taken out. Um, and there's actually very positive things that Tim Turner shares in this MP3. Uh, go and check the blog. I just I talk about the highlights, um, and that is I can give them to you basically here that uh, China and Russia stopped using the US dollar as their standard uh, just about a week or two ago. Uh, he says this at, at 38 minutes in the second hour. The Federal Reserve used the Chinese gold to back. Uh, the fiat system that expired early 2010 and that is the reason the Federal Reserve has no money or more accurately is worthless monopoly money and not accepted by the rest of the world and in brackets this is my comments remember I YouTube an article showing that China said their people could stop accepting the post September 30 2008 issued money you know but uh, the 700 million and more bailout actually was it 700 billion? It was 700 billion I've got to put that in uh, and more bailout slash stimulus packages and I put the link there to the routers article and then for more check my Brick Against New World Order labeled blogs permanently linked in key info at the top now and the other labels at the bottom I'll find more I mean there's labels at the bottom of each blog. If you click on that, the ones that you want to see or that are labeled the same basically. Like there's a whole label on, I think, uh, the US corporation broke, no money bankrupt, and there's another one, you know, restored America, and there's heaps. Uh, now, what else can I say here? The good news, um, Tim's actually on, on that second hour from nine minutes and he sh shares some really good news about what the developments that are going on, the Declaration of Sovereign Intent and how the officers of the Republic was re-inhabited and it's not a new government uh, and it's it's all about sort of dismantling you know bringing back your freedom and taking away the uh, tyranny by the US corporation and allowing us to keep 70 percent of the money of our money you know that we have been paying out through taxation and loans I'm guessing and and that at 17 minutes and 30 seconds he actually says those who those coming into the Republic and ha will be blessed financially spiritually physically in every way. The most important thing I think is very important for us is the blessed financially that 
because we're all worried about that, aren't we? <laughs> Thinking the economy's going to crash and the value of the dollar and all that sort of business. But but you need to actually join up with the Republic, I'm hearing, to be blessed financially. So, And then at the, just underneath that in the blog I put how you can actually sign up for the Republic by clicking on that link and you'll see where you can sign on sign the declaration um, that to my understanding is how you become part of the Republic but just click on the label below at the at the bottom which is restored America and you will bring up a lot more like I've been blogging all of the shows uh, and linking up all of the shows, you know, even in my four shared, I've got a whole heap of uh, Restore America plan, you know, back when it was that, and and Tim Turner's calls as well. So go and go and check them out. And that is it from me. And please also check out. Uh, we've got a whole lot of new websites that I've also been including in my blog. Uh, under the links on the right hand side so if you're interested in looking after your health or travel go and have a look there like some ch very cheap travel trips um, opportunities go and check it out my blog is thankyouwhitenights.blogspot.com have a good one And my YouTube is youtube.com slash thank you white knights. Check the link at the bottom for the link, uh, tr the drop down, or in more info, click more info to get the link to the blog that I've been talking about. Okay, everyone have fun, be enjoy.